here we are at my house. This is a Geo Metro I've converted to electric. And this morning, I am getting a 1977 city car delivered. Hey everybody, uh, behind me is a 1977 city car. I just got it this morning. Uh, it didn't come with any batteries, um, but it looks like it's not in too bad a condition. I pulled the seat up, I put four batteries in there, hooked them up, and uh, it, it runs. Let's, uh, let's spin the wheels. Here's reverse. Let's take a little tour of the car. Uh, for starters, I already pulled the windows off uh, just to make getting in and out and everything a little easier. Uh, here's the windows. They're kind of like a uh, uh, windows in a, a convertible. It's just sort of a, a vinyl, clear plastic. It's got an aluminum frame. And these uh, these little tabs right here slide right down into uh, some slots on the door. Right here and here. And it just holds on that way. Doors are very simple. It just has a sliding bolt for, uh, for the latch. Real easy. Just goes on to there. Uh, inside uh, we have a bench seat, which I've taken out, uh, sitting on the ground over there. And then the seat backs are, uh, hey, look at this. Didn't know people could actually use ironing boards as a seat. But these flip up, and if you take the seat bottom out, this is where the batteries go. Now I put uh, four gel cell batteries in here, 100 amp hour gel cells. And right down here is the motor. And Frankly, the thing is tiny compared to the forklift motor I got in the Electro Metro. But I hooked up the wires, just have these run in series for 48 volts. And if you look back behind the seats, here's a real small gel cell battery I added in for the 12 volt system. And behind it, this is a Curtis controller. Uh, this is a Curtis. Uh, 1221B, uh, 48 to 80 volt controller, 550 amp peak. And back here, these are um, contactors for main contactor, main power, and then uh, that one goes forwards and reverse. So if I flip the forwards and reverse, there's forwards, and there's reverse. Um, now over here, we've got a battery charger, and this is a K&W BC20, and it's got some adjustments for current and voltage. I don't even know if it works. I haven't tried it yet, but um, this is a 72 to 108 volt charger, and if it works, uh, that's that's pretty cool because you know I could hook up 72 volts in this car and really make it fly. Also, right back here, behind it, is a little 12-volt trickle charger for uh, topping off the 12-volt system battery. Now, unlike the commuter car, the city car does not have a hatch in back. The back is uh, just a window. It does not open at all. And down here, you can see the suspension is very simple. It's just a couple of leaf springs and uh, some shock absorbers. And the motor... Uh, motor you can see back here, there's the motor, bolts directly onto uh, the differential, so it's kind of a rear wheel drive, works similar to how a uh, pickup truck drive shaft would. Um, later cars had a different type of a, an attachment where the motor was parallel to the axle instead of perpendicular to it. So that's what it looks like under the car. and kind of that that area there is the box that the batteries go in 
here's the dashboard. Now it doesn't look like most of the things in here work. You know, I kind of, you know, wiper, um, the wiper, the horn, none of that seems to work. I'll have to check all that. None of the gauges appear to work. But the drive system does. So I'll have to double check all the fuses. You know, there's like a dome light down here. That's not working either. So I'll, I'll check through all that, see what, see what works. But right now it looks like it rolls and everything else. Um, I don't know. I'll figure out how to make it go. So that's it. That's my 1977 city car. Look for some more information on it on ecomotor.com and cleanmpg.com.